you know, it's, it's knowledge, it's an application of knowledge. Now, let me go back. If you're able to understand who you are as a man of God, a man in God, infused in love, what you have received is now applied that knowledge in a woman. So that means that every man has the capacity to understand every woman. Question, are men and women different in love? Wow. Oh, oh. okay. Hi. Hmm, good question. Hmm, Jay. This question is going to ruffle some feathers. Are men and women different in the regard of love? Jay. Okay. Um, before I even answer this question, let me just give you a little bit of a background. Um, there's, a, there's this insinuation that men are different from women in terms of love. Men are from, are from Mars, the women are from Pluto. Blah, 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 blah. We've heard and scientifically, blah, blah, blah. But allow me to just tell you something that is just wisdom. And for he has made our wisdom. It's not true. Okay? Now, the answer is men and women are just two dimensions of God. In him is both male and female. You see? In him is both male and female. That means that we have the capacity to connect to each other. But allow me to break it down more so we can understand. Because because we because since we have been thought, um, according to how, how we've been programmed for a very long time, about how we are supposed to see each other, what is actually supposed to unite us is actually breaking us apart. Because, uh, you know, men are accepting they're, they're, they're on a different planet and the women are accepting they're on a different planet. And then what is supposed to converge us as one is actually now breaking us apart. And uh, to make it clear, it is just two dimensions of God. In him is both male and female. That's why the man contains both the X and Y chromosomes. And God is trying to tell us something. He wants to relay a message to us. Because now men have received this, this um, let me call it this opportunity not to really want to know the woman and you know women are emotional and men are more strategic men are emotional too don't you know we're emotional what do you think ego is in a man you know it's an insecurity which is also based on immature emotions are you aware we are both emotional we both get hurt it's the same exact thing yes women might react men react you want to know how emotional a man is wait till he's broke <laughs> we get extremely emotional so the things we've been told are actually purported to, to, to set us apart. Allow me to just speak some wisdom real quick. It's, this, it's, it's two dimensions of God in one. There's no difference between the head and the body. We are one first and foremost. Because have you ever seen a, a bodiless head? Because the head and body are connected as one. That's why the, the head can send signals to the body and the signals can do as much. Now, if I look into the word, that's where I get my wisdom from. You're going to realize that first uh first peter 3 7 tells you that husbands live with your wife in understanding now the word understanding that is used there that word is tact that understanding means um knowledge and the knowledge is speaking about the greek word is uh nox noxus which comes from the word ginosko and noxus you know is it's knowledge is an application of knowledge now, let me go back. If you're able to understand who you are as a man of God, a man in God, infused in love, what you have received is now applied that knowledge in a woman. So that means that every man has the capacity to understand every woman. We just don't have the wisdom. Because of course, you know, for, for uh, Gnosko, which is, uh, let's call it knowledge, you're going to need a doctrine. And of course, the doctrine has to come from the wisdom. The wisdom is love. First of all, it's for God is love. That wisdom is love. There's no knowledge that cannot, there's no knowledge that does not come out of a wisdom. Every knowledge comes from wisdom. When you understand the wisdom, you gain knowledge. But knowledge in itself is nothing until applied. It stays, see, it stays, it doesn't do anything, stagnant. So, now that you are coming into this new wisdom, don't beat me down yet as I'm, I'm speaking to us. Now you know that 
our perceptions are because of our environment and how we are thought. Your mother, your father, your you know, your man's mother and father, your mother and father. It means you're both in perception disconnected due to the environment. So in the realms of the marriage, the first thing to do is not to accept those identities as yours because the marriage itself is the identity love. It means you're both supposed to die to the perceptions to gain the unity, which is love. Because, you know, let's just make it funny. If men don't understand women and women don't understand men, don't we have men who love their mothers so very well? And they want to do anything to give their mothers a good life? How do they understand their mothers? Don't we have, <laughs> don't we have men that have daughters? that loved your daughters very well? How is that possible? How are they understanding these daughters? Don't we have mothers that understand their sons very well? How is that possible? It's because we do not want to put in the effort. And because we don't want to put in the effort, obviously, we're not going to be able to, of course, um, yeah, churn it out the way love speaks it. It comes from wisdom, and that wisdom is God. In that wisdom, I understand that a man lives in a woman in ginosko, in noxus, in, in understanding, with knowledge. So there is a tact where the man is consistently connected to the, the order of God. So, sh so he can also, uh, you know, administer what he has received from God into a woman. So yes, a man and a woman are just two dimensions of God. In one, we are one. Do you see how the world is trying to separate us? So yes, we understand each other very, very well because you can understand exactly what I'm saying. When we begin to invest in what we believe in, you're going to realize that we are exactly the same. We move the same. And that is when the seed and the womb connect and there is fruit. I hope this blesses somebody. I think I'm going to also answer another question. Are women weak? Stay tuned. All right, share, your, uh, you know, share with your comments below. Share everything. And of course, oh, God bless you. OPM. I'm out. So say I do.